In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool team presentation in Canva in just a few minutes where you can rotate through your team members and give them enough space and text to give them a short introduction. It works for however many pictures that you like. I'm using seven in this case. Let's see at how we can do this in Canva in just a few minutes. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first, we want to add some pictures to the slide. So we go to elements and here we look for portrait and let's type in color so that we have nice colorful images. Go to photos, see all, and then you can pick and choose any image that you like. So I'm going to grab some of the images which have a really colorful background. I think that contrast goes really nice. So let's select five or six images and maybe one more. There we go. We're going to close this tab, select all of the images and make them slightly smaller. It doesn't matter if they're landscape or portrait, you can have a variation. I'm going to around the corners. So I'm going to increase the roundness until let's say 22 points. Make them a bit smaller and now let's spread them on the slide. They don't have to be perfectly aligned. They can be a bit spread out over the slide. Just like this. And for the first part, let's make them all about equal size. So they get equal amount of attention on the picture. Let's position it like this. Let's drag them a bit to the right. And let's have the image like this. There we go. So that is our first slide. Now we want to duplicate this page. So duplicate the page. And now we're going to rearrange them on the second slide. And for that, I'm going to select one of the images and make it larger so they get the emphasis. Select the other ones. You can hold the shift key, select multiple at a time and then reduce them in size. I'm going to position them on either side of the image or just spread them around a bit. But just so we have the effect that one of the images is in the center focus. So I'm going to position these up. And in this case, they nicely fit next to each other. Center to the middle. And once you're happy with the result, let's duplicate once more. And now we're going to reduce that size shift the images around. I like to rotate them sort of clockwise and then always go for the next one in a highlight. So let's make this one larger, maybe put it here and then sort of place the other ones around it. Just like this. Then you're going to position them in the center again I also like to have some sort of equal spacing in between them so that we have some consistency on the slide. And I'm going to duplicate again, reduce this one and increase the green one. You can choose how large you make them. That doesn't really matter. Just like this, this one goes on top. And this one here fits nicely. You can also change the smaller ones, make them a bit larger if you want. That is totally up to you to decide. And then duplicate again. Reduce the green one. And increase the yellow one. Shift the other ones around. Let's make this one smaller. Put it in the center. This one goes next to it. There we go. Again, let's place them in the center, duplicate again, make the other one smaller. And then we're going to repeat this two more times so that we have all of them in focus on one of the slides. Let's place them right here, increase it a little bit so that everything nicely changes. I think this composition looks good. And then a final time where we have the red image popping out. Make that one larger and readjust the other ones. If you do it a few times, you kind of get a feel of what a good composition feels like and that leaves some room for text that we want to add later on. So if we now go to the thumbnail view, we can see that we have multiple slides. First, we have the slide where everyone is the same size. Then we focus on the blue greenish tint. We go for blue, green, yellow, orange, and eventually red. 
Now let's have a look at how we can add some text to the slide. So I'm going to add text, title, and here give it a name. So type in the name of the person. So I'm just going to type in some names and then reposition this down. And let's put that in the top. Let's center it nicely in the middle. And maybe we'll also add some dummy text. So I'm using this lorem ipsum app here, maybe 10 words, just a short description of the person. Maybe it could be a bit more, so I'm going to add some extra text. Just like that. There we go. Then we have the name of the person and a bit of a description of their personality or their character or job function, whatever you want. So that's the first one. Let's copy that to the second page. Let's grab that text, copy it, and then go to the second slide. And here, let's say this guy is called John. Let's change it to John. I'm also going to change the text just a bit so that the transitions don't mess up. In reality, you're going to have different text anyways. So let's position it like there. And then do that a few more times. You can always readjust afterwards if you feel that the space isn't sufficient. For example, like here, we can move it to the side. You can also readjust like this if you want. So th there's plenty of options that you could do to place the text somewhere else. Let's try it right here. Let's give him a different name. For example, Dave. Also here, change text a bit. Let's position everything nicely. And put it on the other side on the next slide. Let's call her Jess. The texts don't always have to be positioned in the, the exact same way, so you can position it wherever you like, wherever the composition feels right on the slide. Let's call her Anna. And place that on the left as well. And then a final one. Let's call her Joy. Reduce the text. Maybe remove one word here. I think I have to do it on the previous slide as well. So just add something extra. There we go. And now that gives us the seven slides that we have. So let's zoom out. We have the opening slide where everyone is the same size. We have the slide where we focus on Jane, John, Dave, Jess, Anna, enjoy. Now what we want to do is we want to go to thumbnail view again, hover in between the slides, go to add transition and choose match and move. The duration we can increase it to maybe one second and then choose apply between all pages. And now let's preview what we have. And this is how you can make a really beautiful presentation to present your team in a creative way where as soon as you click one of the people gets highlighted with some text, click again and you go to the next person and this way you rotate around the team and give them all equal attention and some room for explanation all the way to the last one. If you want, you can easily rotate it backwards to the first slide. That is all up to you, but this is how you can create this result in a few minutes. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.